So in this quick tip, I'm going over this component called series, and it allows you to make copies. So if you've ever thought of, oh man, there's no copy uh, component, uh, this is the way to do it. So let me show you how to do it, uh, some, of the, some of the applications of this component. So we're gonna start with a circle. So let's use a spear, not a, not a circle, a spear. And so let's go here to unit five. So we can give it some radius. And then we can increase the quality here so it looks nicer. And there we are. Now, with this sphere, if we want to make a copy, you could move it. And then we can say uh, in the in the Y direction. And then we can say 5. So it'll make a copy of one almost right next to the other one. Um, and I'll actually put it to the center. So we, if we do a multiplication times two, we can see that we create one right next to the other. And so that's cool. And if you wanted to make another one, you take that geometry and you do the same thing, right? You would do the same thing. You put that geometry here and keep going. But if you don't want to just keep creating the same components over and over, one of the things you might want to look into is, or the reason why you're here is called series. Now, what this component does is it creates a series of steps. So it, it'll create this one. The default is a default of 10 values from one to nine, from zero to nine. So it starts, it starts at zero, it steps one, and it creates a count of 10. So if we want to move this in the Y direction, so let's do that again, unit of Y, and we plug that in here we'll see that we'll actually create 10 different ones just as a default. If you just plug this into the Y, it'll give you 10. And so if we go here to count, we'll say we only want two numbers. So we, here, as you can see, if we hide this one, it only actually created two. And you'll see that here, two, two values created. Now we can create three, four, five, six. But now what we're doing is we're moving it a step unit of one. So that's why it's overlapping them. If you wanted to actually step not just one, but let's step at five. It is actually creating it in the center point because it's it's a radius. So if we do a multiplication by two, as we did before, so five times two, we'll see that it's 10 and we'll do the step of 10. And now we have created a copy, a series, of spheres that have been basically moved in the y direction and we have a count of four five six seven eight nine ten we can go all the way up to ten uh, because that's the the limit of the slider now if you wanted to not start at at zero you actually wanted to start at five you can do that we could start at five so you'll see here it's it's moving this over because it's starting at a different point now uh, that's uh, something that you might want to uh, play with once you actually have an application to to do it onto because it's uh, for now we'll just leave it at zero and you'll see that it creates a copy so this is important because you can create um, columns or other array of things just by not just saying y but let's also also go x and we'll plug that here and we'll plug this here and you'll see that it'll actually create that there. So the units I'm working on are feet and inches. And right now this is a, I'm creating a column that is 12 by 12 and I want to do it a 10 foot tall. Uh, and now to do that, I can do a multiplication by 12 and that way I can convert from uh, inches to feet. So this slider of 12 inches now becomes when I multiply it by 12, a uh, 12 foot column and so if you use feet and inches that's just a trick that I use for converting uh, inside of grasshopper and so here we have the column now let's create a series because I want to show you uh, how you can create a grid grid line of columns for a project if that's what you're looking for we move this geometry in the y direction A series of times we're gonna start at zero which is fine we're gonna step over 
we're going to use this again because I want the grid to be 25 foot on center. And so there we put the step. And there we have, we have created the grid of 10 columns that are 25 feet apart. And if we don't want 10 columns, we want 25 columns, we could do that. But let's actually keep it at a small number of eight. So now that we have that series completed, all we have to do is do the same series to this. So let's create a series and let's go in the Y direct. Let's go, it's actually in the X direction. And we're gonna move this geometry. So we're gonna move all of these set of columns a series of times in the X direction, and we're gonna step over the same amount. So we're gonna do a 25 foot by 25 foot grid line. And our count's gonna be the same, eight. Okay, so once you get this result, which it'll actually create a series of it kind of going across in the Y direction, what you wanna do here is go here to the series and click on right click and then go to graft. And that way you'll see that you have, have actually created that grid, that set of grids there. And if you don't want eight, you can go to count. We can say less grid lines here, less here. And so there we have that whole set of grid lines there that we can actually, if you wanted to create a multi-story building, then we create a series once again. But of this whole entire thing, we're going to move it. Oops. Sorry about that. Let's see. move this in the Z direction. A series of times. This geometry. So we're moving this up. How much? The step is going to be actually the height of the column. So to make this work, uh, I had to right click right here where it says geometry and I went to graft. Okay, so now I've taken all of these columns that were down here and I've created a series going up in the Z direction to create these. But as you can see, they're all copied right, right one on top of the other. So what I'm gonna do is actually do an addition of 12. So I'm gonna create a higher gap, a bigger gap in between the columns here by actually plugging in the height of the column and we're actually going to add 12 inches and we'll add that to the step so as you can see now we have all of those um, columns here and we can actually put the floors in between and so that's one of the cool things and you could just increase or decrease the amount of grid lines you want to use um, so that's pretty useful so hopefully you learned something in this tutorial and you uh, can use this in the future to make copies of things uh, and if you have any questions or I went over something that was a little tricky let me know and um, I'll make sure to uh, let you know in the comments also check the description because I'll have a link to this script so you can kind of play around with it and yeah if you have any questions let me know and look forward to seeing you next time